very, very grateful, and I thank Allah uh, for this very important day, uh, these uh, council elections in the Gambia. I just want to tell the Gambian people that this council election is a very, very important election. Because it's the council that uh, manage the grassroots, and the grassroots are the majority. The grassroots are the vulnerable. And I think it's very important for you to come and vote, exercise your civic duty to choose the person that will run the council. I think that is very, very important. So we are calling on all Gambians to come out and their numbers to come and vote for the candidate of their choice. Uh, because I think uh, this is a clear indication that we are nurturing our democracy. We are consolidating our democracy moving forward. That's why we have organized a very peaceful campaign. And I expect a very peaceful also uh, elections. On that note, I will seize the opportunity to congratulate all the political parties that are part of this process. And we will not forget also the IEC for being neutral, for being part of uh, the process to make sure that we create a conducive environment for the Gambian people and for the politicians. Uh, I think today uh, you can proudly say that we are one of the best democracies in the world. And that would not have happened if my government was not tolerant. We are very, very tolerant because we believe that it's the Gambian people who can put you in position. It's the Gambian people who can elect you. Nobody can elect you. Even the president is not more powerful than you. That's why I've just casted my vote, but I cast one vote only. <laughs> if, if there was no equality, I would have cast more than one vote. So I think we should all, we should all appreciate that. And we should all nurture that. We should all be part of the people who will make so we consolidate our democracy moving forward. The moment we consolidate our democracy, we will be sure and we will be encouraged that we will develop this country. All the countries that are developed, they are all countries that believe in democracy. All the countries that have developed are the countries that are very peaceful. The most peaceful countries are the countries that have developed. You don't need to go to Emara but to go for Listakar. You just look around, ar around you. You see the country that have developed. They are all peaceful. So this country must be peaceful. And this is our country. We have no any other country in the world. This is the only country we have. To me, this is the best country in the entire world. This is the best place to live. So that has encouraged me. And really, I am very confident and I'm happy that this Gambia is moving forward. And for the Gambian people, the sky is the limit. Personally and my government, we are committed to moving this country forward. This election is very interesting. At the executive level, we are the incumbent. At the National Assembly level, we are the incumbent. But at the council level, we are the opposition. <laughs> so that makes it very, very interesting. So that's why it is a very interesting election. And there is a real competition going on. We want to get back the council because we believe that the council can work with government. But with all this, it is not our responsibility. It is the responsibility of the Gambian people to make that decision. On that note, I thank the media and I thank everybody around here. And I thank the Gambian people and I thank the party leaders and the IEC chairman and the entire IEC and the security uh, services. I think they have been neutral and they have supported the whole process until today that we are voting and all the process have been very, very, very peaceful.